Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see the results of watching way too much HGTV. If you're new to the channel and haven't seen this big Tiffin Phaeton behind me, this is my personal coach. Over the last few months, I've been doing a pretty extensive remodel makeover on the interior of this coach, and it's finally ready to show you today. Before we show you the inside though, I wanna show you what the coach looked like before. pulling up a bunch of cool pictures to see what the coach looked like before the remodel, it brought back a ton of memories. This coach actually played a huge part of building my whole, whole YouTube channels. So I'll tell you a little history about this coach. I bought it in February or March now, I think in March of 2019. So I've had the coach for about nine months now and had a great summer with it. I uh, took it to South Dakota, used it all summer. When I got back to Arizona from South Dakota, I discovered one little problem and then things escalated really quickly there was a crack tile and i noticed that there was a leak in this slide out that was causing the that that had gotten into the subfloor and the subfloor had rotted out so we had to replace the subfloor at least portions of the subfloor of the coach and while we did that i had the option to upgrade the flooring and while we were upgrading the flooring, we thought we'd take a couple steps up and do a color change on the cabinets. And I've done pretty much about everything so far. There's only a couple more things that I wanna do, and I'll show you those when we go inside of the coach. But right now, it's, it's pretty much made over. There's only a few minor things. So let's go take a look. at A huge thanks to Palacios in Scottsdale for doing all of this work. Those are the folks that are responsible for turning this old Tiffin Phaeton into what you're about to see. One of the coolest parts about this coach is the entryway that Jesse did. He absolutely nailed it. The beautiful tile, and then he used these small little Corian pieces to tie everything together. And then these kind of stainless pieces as well, it just really makes it look nice. And then he, he got rid of all the carpet and reupholstered the vinyl right here. That made it look a lot better. But but what he really did to make it look really awesome was add a light under here. So below this, there's a really cool light. And then all with the switch of this button that's right here, I'm able to turn that light on and off. Really awesome. Jesse nailed it. in here that I still want to get done. The very first order measure is going to be 
these chairs right here, these are definitely super dated and you know, I, I don't have an unlimited budget. So we, I, I ran tight on the budget on this and didn't have any more to invest on this for right now. So those chairs are gonna be next. The, th the only two things that are really new in this coach that really changed the whole appearance of the coach is this is all new flooring throughout the coach. And then we also did a color change on all the cabinets here. So these were all professionally sprayed. There's a lot of different ways to paint the cabinets. And if you don't do it right, it can go really bad. But the folks at Palacios knew some painters and I was able to get a really good deal. Now keep in mind, it was December in Arizona and we had a ton of rainy weather. So it's really tough for painters. And my detailing business, I can relate, we didn't have any work. So there was a lot of guys that were really hungry for work, especially before the holidays. So some guys threw a really good aggressive bid to give me a great deal on doing the color change. And it was such a good deal. I had to jump on it and they just knocked it out of the park. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. So I was gonna originally go with all white and keep things really light, but because of the recommendation of a lot of you, these cabinets are actually a little bit darker here. So this is gonna be a darker gray on the bottom cabinets here, and then the lighter cabinets with the rest of the woodwork throughout. And then I also use the darker gray on the refrigerator as well, just to break it up a little bit more over here. So the next thing I'm gonna get done after these chairs is gonna be these valances here. These are just a little bit dated. And I think it, I think new valances would really, really help bring it to life. But like I said, that's, that's gonna be in the future. So make sure to subscribe because you're gonna wanna catch new videos of that. So the color of the upholstery, I was a little bit worried that the, upholstery colors weren't going to really blend but really they they actually look pretty nice here i'm 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 enjoying it so these are the original countertops so i think just bringing these colors tying them in with the, the countertops really worked well i'm i'm really happy i i kind of hope to side these colors with the help of jesse at palacios but i think we did okay let me know in the comments below how you think we did They did some really cool stuff back here. Just they got rid of all that ugly carpet and they put this kind of marine material here. But one of the other awesome things that they did was use on the slide outs. We couldn't put tile on the slide outs as well because it's too heavy. But Jesse got me this really cool kind of marine kind of vinyl and it really turned out awesome. It, I'm really happy with it. And so this is gonna be a little bit easier to clean than regular carpet. It's, it's a little more durable material, so it can just be kind of wiped clean. I'm really happy about it. Then he even did, you know, some little cool stuff too, like got rid of all of the carpet, like under my, in the driver area as well. And just the new floor just really make it feel like such a new coach. It's crazy how just doing a couple things just really brings it to life. but. They did it right too. They didn't, they weren't cutting corners. They were making sure that they did a good job on everything. And that's what's really important. If you do everything right, it's gonna turn out nice. Yeah, those chairs definitely gotta go. So the head area really turned out nice. Use that on the engine hatch as well. They used a real cool piece of Corian as well to blend it all together. It kind of matches my granite, not 100%, but really turned out nice. The few other things that I think could be changed, and it would be kind of tough, is this wallpaper. And I don't think it's too bad. It's kind of a kind of a tan and light kind of color. Here, I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, it's not too bad. I think it could be nicer, but I think I'm gonna live with it for right now. But let me know what you guys think below. I'm really curious at your opinion. Hey, I greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more cool RV related content like this. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.